Hey guys, um, it's Jules and Saad and we have been sitting here trying to think of what to film. We were going to film a Q&A and just act like everything was, was okay. happening and then we just shut off the camera and we were like, we both feel weird. This isn't right. Because um, it feels like we're hiding something from you guys, which we are. Yeah, and but it's because we're scared. And we're scared to talk we're, about We're it. scared that people are going to take it the wrong way and we're going to get really judged for it or you guys are just going to hate us for it. And we never want you guys to hate us. Like, we want to be real with you guys and right now we're just going to be as real as possible. Like, this is probably one of our realest videos coming out. And just so you know, I am going to cry. I'm oh, already yeah. tearing she's, up. She's definitely going to cry. So, first off, I think you guys need to meet this little guy. This, you guys, is Moses. Um, all of you have been asking about the puppy, if we got the puppy, and we did. Um, this is him. He is the sweetest little thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, it's okay. Um, today's video has to deal with him completely. Um, I'm gonna take him out of the video so Piglet isn't freaking out the whole time. But I just wanted you guys to meet him and see how sweet and cute it's and okay. adorable he is. Um, but this is Moses and we're gonna talk to you guys. <laughs> About him and why we're concerned. Yeah. All let that, me, all let that me stuff. Go, Antonio's here, so I'm gonna go let him cuddle with Antonio. All right, so I just gave Moses um, to Antonio, and Antonio's watching him right now. But basically, what's going on is we don't know if what to do about him. And you guys are, oh my god, he's so cute, and he is, and he's a really good dog. But we don't know if we should keep him yet. Because Piglet, it's been like a couple days since we had him and Piglet is our number one priority and she is our baby to the fullest and that I will do anything for this dog. And Piglet hasn't been getting along with the dog and obviously it's a puppy and it's going to annoy her. Piglet has not like attacked or snapped or any of that. She just is very like scared and the only time she wants to see him is to sniff his butt or something like that. But like she'll head upstairs and the puppy will be downstairs. Like wherever he is, she just doesn't want to be near him. If he's out of the playpen, she's on the couch or she'll she'll start walking upstairs. Like um, she first off, you guys are probably thinking, well, of course, like it's a puppy. It's going to take time. And we're just really scared because what if it doesn't? What if time can't fix it? Like, we know Piglet and she has been acting like... Really weird. Really, really weird. Like, I, I obviously expected her not to, like, like the puppy starting off. You know, we did everything we could. We let them meet in a neutral setting. You know, she's she started to try to play with him, but it's like she... She's been around puppies also, if, like, you guys don't know this, but, like, she has, like, dog friends. She's been yeah. around, like, litters of puppies before, yes. so it's nothing new to her. Like, she, she she sees puppies, you know what I mean? Like, my dad's dog was a puppy when they first met, and now they're best friends, but she is not acting the same towards this puppy versus any other dog other, that has been in our house have been as in well. Our house. It's just... It's so weird and like I'm surprised she's with us right now because she's wanted nothing to do with us. Like she won't say hi to my brother at all. Like you guys know Antonio. Antonio and her are like boyfriend and girlfriend and she wants nothing to do with him. Like he said hi to the puppy first and I think homegirl got a little jealous. Which I, I mean Which, I expect yeah. things to be different. It's just... We're stressed because, first off, I want you guys to know that we would never buy a dog. Just to get rid of it. We or for never, clout or promote. We like, would never buy a dog without the intention of keeping him. Yeah. So, we bought this dog 
thinking this is gonna be a lifelong dog and I knew there were gonna be complications, but just the way Piglet has been acting is concerned. And I don't want her to sound like a bad dog. She's not a bad dog. She, mm. uh, she hasn't done anything bad, but I'm just scared that what if she never starts to like him? And that's, that's what my fear is. And like, we already talked to the person that sold us the dog and they said we have till a certain date to see how they do. They would get picked, They the dog would get picked back up on Wednesday, go back to um, the person who gave us him and he would have another home. Yeah. Um, so it's not like he wouldn't have another home um, and the person that gave us him is happy to take him and, back and really and she, nice and, and she really understands nice. and she's she's very nice and it's just it's really hard because we want it and for forever I want to keep him i i i want to keep him i i do i'm i don't know guys we forever wanted a dog on this channel if you didn't know like we've always wanted another dog for pig for us just to have like in our family and now it's like Piglet's like, okay, like, guys, I see what you're doing. I appreciate it, but like, I like being an only child. That's what it. That's what it feels like. It's so like. weird. Like, I, I get that from Piglet. That's what I'm getting too. And I like. And like we. And like the first two nights we've had this dog, I I'm not an emotional person, but we were like, like Piglet hates us. We messed up. I literally threw up. So I did. I so literally so threw, threw up. up. I it's... literally threw up because like I was so nauseous to the fact that Piglet is like doesn't want to mess with me. Like she doesn't want to like be near us. And like this is one of the first times she is literally like with us. And she's her back is turned to us. Yeah. It's she such, doesn't it's such an awful feeling because I feel like such a bad person that we bought this dog. I'm getting attached to him. Yeah. And it feels like Piglet hates us. Yeah. And it's like, I get it. Time could probably help, but I'm scared. Like, I am so scared. I don't want this dog to be in an unsafe situation. And I don't want Piglet to, to not. be uncomfortable in her own house. Yeah. And I don't want her to be unhappy. And I don't know what I expected. Like, our mindset was... We're gonna get this puppy, it's gonna be great, it's gonna get her active, it's gonna give her someone to play with. And she, I she know it's only been a couple days, but yeah. guys, she is giving total different vibes than she ever has with any other dog. Like, we've had Piglet since she was a baby, so I, we would know how she is, and like, a lot of people are gonna say like, oh, that, that's a thing that happens. But guys, I really think, I like, I want to keep him, but I don't think Piglet wants him. I think she likes being a solo, you know, I think she likes being the only child and I feel terrible because he's a cutie, he's, he's such, such a cutie, a good dog. like he's been peeing on his pee pads, he's been going outside, peeing outside, like, and he, he wants to walk near Pig and Piglet's just like runs, like gets away from him and like, yeah, she'll go up to him, sniff his butt here and there, but then she'll go on the couch where he can't go. Or she'll go in our room where he can't go, but he's learning how to climb upstairs now. So, I mean, she ain't getting away from him anytime soon. But we put him in his playpen downstairs. My brother's watching him. And we just want to be real with you guys. We want to be like... Because we don't know what to do. Because we, we don't know what to film. Like, our stomachs have been a mess. Like, I thought this was going to be like... Our next video was going to be Meet the Poppy, a happy video. But it's like, we don't know if we're going to keep him. And we don't want you guys to be like, oh, like... You guys bought him just for, for, for clickbait or, oh, you did this. But it's like, no, we really want to keep him. And it's like, we don't know if Piglet really likes him. And we have until Wednesday. The guy will come, pick him up on Wednesday, bring him back to the place he came from. I just want to do the most mature thing in this situation. And I don't know what it is. I feel like I screwed up for Piglet. And I feel like I screwed up for that puppy. Yeah.
because it's of, hard we've literally spent all our time like what are we gonna do what we haven't gonna even do? been posting on social media like really we like, spent every second with the puppy and we're trying to get the puppy and piglet the bond that's why piglet is just not, not yeah that's why like we haven't been posting that's why you literally haven't been hearing us at all we you guys haven't seen the puppy until julia just showed him to you because we don't want to show off a dog that we may or may not keep. And I feel awful. I feel so bad. So, we don't know what our next video is going to be, honestly. It could be <sighs> keeping the dog or not keeping the dog. But you guys will know on Wednesday. Also, we're not posting on Mondays anymore. Um, it's just like too much right now. There's just like... This is just supposed to be a happy thing. And yeah. So I don't think we're going to be posting on Mondays till further notice. So, yeah. There's we're just, there's that also. Yeah. We're just not... I mean, We're just so attached to Piglet. She's been here for four years and I, I literally feel like she like, hates you us. Guys, you guys love Pig too. You know what I mean? And it's like, I feel like maybe to some people they won't notice, but I know true fans notice piglet's emotions and if you guys we recorded the way like it was just interactions like i have videos of her just walking away from him we're trying we're really trying like we're gonna take them to sod's grandma's backyard we're not gonna we're go not near going my grandma. house we're, we're just going near we're just going to her backyard because she has like a woods area and like a lot of open space where they can just see each other and like we could try to get them to play because where we are you you have to have a leash on your dog so we're gonna take them over to my grandma's yard. We're not gonna see anybody. We're literally just going in her yard to use it and let them play. And we'll let you guys know by Wednesday what we're doing, but please don't hate us if we don't keep this dog. And I'm so scared that I you guys are gonna think that we're awful people and like awful pet owners. And I promise you, we would never buy a dog without the intentions of keeping yeah. him. And we thought stuff, we thought it all through, I promise, it's just, I've never seen Piglet act like this, like, you guys have no idea, it just feels like she hates us. And I know I'm crying over a dog, but like, but that's our baby. That's my baby, and then now I'm getting attached to this puppy, and I feel like I just let this puppy to help. I want to keep him, but is Piglet going to be miserable, and is he going to end up in an unsafe environment if Piglet gets tired of him, you know, and like, he's young, this is the time he can find another home, we, it's, you don't get a touch trial with dogs, you know, we don't get to, you, I'm not going to keep the dog for a month and get rid of him. I feel bad enough keeping him for a week and getting rid of him. Cause like, he's still a puppy. He can still find a home if we don't keep him. But like, we weren't trying to give him up to begin with. And that's where it's like, oh my gosh, like Piglet doesn't like him. Like, it just, we didn't, we did not think this was gonna happen. Out of all things, we thought, you know, it would take some time, but like Piglet is showing like, like, no, she she doesn't want to deal. She doesn't want to do. I truly think and like I feel bad because we didn't notice because she Piglet is boy crazy. She loves her boyfriends. She loves playing with other dogs. She warms up to dogs. And, and this dog, I think she realized we're trying to keep him here. And like his cage is down there, his bed's down there, his food, water, toys, etc. Everything is down there. And I think she's realizing this dog isn't here for a play date. He's here to stay. And I think that's what she realized. Like, crap, I'm getting a brother and I don't want him. I like being a single kid. I didn't think she'd like being an only child. Like, I genuinely thought this would bring her happiness. And I know it's only been a couple days. But like like I said, you, you, know, you know you know your dog. Like, you yeah. know when you know your dog. Like, you know your kid. Like, yeah. you know your kid. You know your dog. You know your pet more than anybody else. And, like, maybe you guys can't tell because you only see what we show you guys. But Piglet is not comfortable. Piglet is easy to read. Yeah. She, like, she tells you when she ain't liking something and when she's not having it. And when she's having a good time, she'll let you know. 
We're doing everything to try to make it work. I want you guys to know that. Um, but like I said, I just, I don't know. This is the only opportunity that he can go back and get another home because there are other people that wanted him. So yeah. this is, this is his chance to get a home. And I feel bad because like, I want him. I want him. But I have to take Figlet into consideration. And I just feel like I screwed up. And it sucks because I don't know how they would be in a year. But I don't. You don't want. I can't keep him and give him away. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I can't do that. And that the only time he can go back. So what's supposed to happen next is we have basically till Tuesday to have our final decision on what's going on. Um, and then Wednesday they come here and they'll grab him. But this whole time I, I want you guys to know like the reason why we haven't been posting about this dog, the reason why we haven't been showing him to social media is because we don't want to flaunt a dog that we don't know if we're going to keep. And we don't want to get you guys excited. So we just, we just haven't been showing him. And that was the first time you guys have seen him and I don't know if it's going to be the last time you guys see him. And we feel like pieces of shit. We feel like shit. <sighs> I don't know, we're gonna get so much hate on this video too. And we probably are gonna get a lot of hate on this video. And that's, I mean, we didn't mean to do this to the dog, but we're, we're trying to work it out and we're trying to do the best we can. So if our next video is keeping the dog or not keeping the dog, please just understand we're trying to do what's best for both of them. Because we could have we could have sat here and lied to you guys and said, oh yeah, the dog never came. Or like we could have lied and been like, oh yeah, like we got scammed again. But like, no, we didn't. And we do have the dog and we can't hide him any longer. And our stomachs are hurting from not telling you guys. So we're just trying to be honest and let you guys know what's really going on, what's going through our minds, and... Like, we haven't been able to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know what to do. Like, I this is... hold him and I want to cry. Yeah. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a puppy. Like, you gotta let her adjust. But guys, Piglet has had puppy playdates. She's had puppy sleepovers. She's been around puppies her whole life. She's been around dogs her whole life. And we have never seen Piglet act this way. That is why we are just like so thrown off because this has never happened with Piglet. Guys, I can't express enough that we would not buy a dog, especially spend the money we spent on this dog. This dog was very expensive, you guys. I would not spend that much money on a dog. I wouldn't buy a dog in general if I did not plan to keep him for a lifetime. But we are huge pet lovers. And I cannot put this dog in a bad environment. And I can't put Piglet in a bad environment. So I'm to I'm torn. We're both, we are torn. We don't know what to do. And we're just trying to spend every second with the dog. And we're just trying, we're really, really trying to get Piglet to interact with him. We're going to take them and let them run in a backyard where they can be off leash. And who knows, maybe a miracle will happen. And... They'll be best friends. I mean, I knew it wasn't gonna be like perfect right away, you know? But I thought that Piglet would at least act like herself. And she is acting depressed times a million. She wants nothing to do with me, nothing to do with Son. I'm surprised she's up here with us right now. This she is doesn't the first even want to talk she to us. Has been. She doesn't even want to be nervous. But... Like I said, that's our baby, so I don't even care that I'm crying over it. So that's all I have to say. I'm really sorry. Um, we'll keep you guys updated if we keep him or not. And just know if we don't, it's because we're trying to do the right thing for him and for Piglet. Um, like I'm attached to him. I am already. So trust me, I don't want to get rid of him. But at the end of the day, I care about him enough to do the right thing to where I think it's gonna get to a situation where it's gonna be tension, you know? 
I'm not gonna put him in that. I'd rather him just go to a home where he's gonna be safe and loved. Well, I would love him. We would love him, but... I just really, I just really hope you guys don't think bad of us. So, we took a little break to breathe, like 30 seconds, and one last thing. Like we said, we're not doing this because we, we're posting this video because we literally don't want you guys to hate us. We don't know what to do, and you guys are our way to vent, and I want to hear you guys in the comments, and I know some people are going to give us shit for this, and that's totally fine. But like Julia said, we're going to do the best thing for Piglet and this puppy. And I'm not going to look back in a year and be like, crap, we should have got rid of the puppy when he was able to be okay and not attached. And that is the reason why we're letting you guys know. Because right now, our stomachs have been hurting for days on days on days. Because we don't know what to do at all. And I don't know if we're going to keep this dog. So we'll let you guys know by Wednesday or Friday what's gonna happen and where he is and what what we did we're gonna let you guys know by wednesday or friday and just know if we don't keep him though he's going back to where he was and, and people want this dog like a lot of people want this dog he'll have a home he'll have a home he's it's just it's just like i don't want to give him over i wanted to keep him i do want to keep him so we are going to be doing everything in our power to try to get them to get along for the next couple days. That's what we've been doing this whole time. You haven't been really seeing us on social media. Uh, but that's what we've been doing and we're going to keep doing it until the day comes and he either leaves or he stays. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. We love you and we'll keep you guys updated. Stay in one.